Hello, everyone. I figured I would say something to make sure everybody could hear me. Uh, we're going to get started in just a couple minutes, uh, give everybody a chance to log in. Uh, so I appreciate your patience, but we'll get started in just a couple minutes. So. Why did you stop the video? Uh, we're just asking everyone to turn off their cameras for the time being. Um, that way it kind of cuts down on the uh, background chatter. And if also you could mute your microphone, we're gonna open it up for questions at the end of the presentation. And uh, for those of you who are already on, if you do have any questions throughout the presentation, you can also type in your questions into the chat function, which you can navigate to by hovering your mouse if you're on a PC or a desktop. On the lower center of the screen, click on where it says chat. There'll be a smart word cloud uh, above it, like a comic book. And then you can type in on the lower right hand side of your screen what your question may be. And then at the end, we're going to answer all those questions that you may have. Holy, do we have people in the uh, waiting room or should we get started? You let me know. There's one person in the waiting room right now. I just admitted them. So we should have everybody on. All right. Yeah, we're all set. They're in. Okay. Well, hello, everyone. My name is John Brenneman. I'm the president here at MOA Vacations. Uh, on behalf of myself, everyone at MOA Vacations and Colette Vacations, I want to thank everyone for attending today. Uh, for those who may not with us here at MOA Vacation. We are MOA's official travel agency. Uh, we are a full service travel agency, which means we can handle uh, all of your travel needs, hotels, resorts, uh, ocean cruises, river cruises, and then of course land tours, uh, which is what we're here to talk about today. Uh, we do offer the lowest prices, uh, superior service, uh, and valuable free amenities, both groups and individual bookings. Um, I had my phone muted. Uh, for example, uh, today we're uh, talking with Colette Vacations uh, about their tour packages. We do have a MOA exclusive offer uh, on any uh, Colette Vacation that you book. Uh, it is an additional fifty or hundred dollars off per person, uh, depending on the length of the tour. Um, and I always like to mention when we talk about these discounts and amenities that they're available not only to MOA members, but MOA members, uh, family and guests who are traveling with you. And there's no limit on the number of people you can bring with you. So, I mean, you can in effect do your own group, but as long as you're traveling, uh, the discounts and the amenities and everything uh, applies to them as well. So if you, for example, you know, 10 people with you on a family group, all of them would receive that additional 50 or $100 off, plus the discounted pricing or the, the, the free amenity or whatever that may be. Um, our presentation today is going to take place in three parts. Uh, in just a couple of minutes, I'm going to turn it over to Colby Eaton, uh, who's with Colette Vacations, and Colby's going to talk uh, first a little bit about uh, Colette Vacations, the company, for those of you who are not familiar with them. Um, Colette is the number one preferred uh, tour company uh, by MOA members. Uh, we book uh, more Colette than any other uh, tour operator. Uh, in fact, uh, Colette is almost twice as many uh, MOA members select Colette as any other tour company. They're a great partner. Um, we provide service on a satisfaction guaranteed basis. Uh, Colette is a willing and, and full partner in that. Uh, and as I mentioned, they also have the, uh, the special amenity for MOA members on that. Uh, after uh, he talks about Colette, uh, we are going to review the highlights on six of our 2021, 2021 and 2022 group departures for North America. Uh, that is a lot of information to cover in one webinar. Uh, I emailed everyone uh, a, a little bit ago, about 40 minutes ago a link to, we have a web page set up that has all of the group departures on it. Uh, they are listed in chronological order based upon the departure date. 
Uh, you can click on any of those tours and you go to a, uh, it opens up a website that has complete information on that tour, including a detailed day-to-day -day itinerary. So as we go through, um, don't feel um, that you need to take a lot of notes. Um, so you, you will have the link. And I also just put the link into uh, the um, chat, uh, if that's easier for you to click on that. Um, but in addition to uh, having access to that page, if there's anything that we talk about during this webinar uh, that you think you, you'd like to hear again or share with somebody or not sure you understood, uh, just to make a note of what time it is. Uh, when we send you the webinar, the webinar is going to be about an hour long. Uh, we will send it to everyone by the time uh, everything processes and we get it uploaded to the internet. It probably be uh, early tomorrow before you get that. But rather than watch the entire webinar, we found that people find it a lot easier. If like we're 20 minutes in, uh, there's something you want to revisit. If you just write down 20 minutes when you get the webinar, you can just fast forward to the 20th minute of the webinar and that should get you about where you are. Um, and then finally, uh, we are going to, uh, as, as uh, Kobe mentioned uh, kind of before we got started, we are going to do a QA and a uh, at the very end um, of it. So if you have any questions, you can type them in the chat at any time. Uh, we are going to withhold answering any questions until we get done. Uh, as I mentioned, we have a lot of information to get through, uh, but you can just drop them in chat now. And of course, you can always call us um, if it's a specific question about a specific departure. Um, you know, the best bet probably is to give us a call and talk to a travel agent who can talk about your specific air gateway, uh, pre's, posts, any of those other types of things that you'd like to do um, as we go through this. So, uh, and then the only other thing I always like to mention when we do these with these group departures, um, you go through one of these that you find very interesting that you want to go on, but when you see the date of our group departure, it's a date that doesn't work for you. Uh, keep in mind, all of these tours that we're going to go through have multiple departure dates, um, not only the this year or next year. Uh, so if you see a tour and you say, oh, I really want to go to national parks, but for one reason or another, that date doesn't work for me, you can still go on that tour. Um, you won't be going with the MOA group, but we can send you with just your friends and family or just you and your guests. Uh, and then the other thing is, is, is Colette offers hundreds of tours. And today we're only going through six of them and they're all North America. They go to continents around the globe. Uh, some of you probably uh, saw from the invitation you received on Thursday of this week, we're doing European uh, tours. But once again, we don't have time to go through all the groups. So we're only going to highlight five or six of them. So the point being is, as we go through this, if you see something uh, that you like, great, let us know. Uh, if it brings up something you'd like to see a little different, uh, we work with all the tour companies, all the cruise lines or whatever. We want to be your travel agency. Uh, so just give us a call. We'd love to help you. So um, now we kind of went through the housekeeping. I'm going to turn it over to Kobe. Uh, Kobe, tell us more about Colette and show us the tours. All right. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us on the call this afternoon and everyone at MOA. Um, so for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Colby Yetten from Colette Vacations. Um, very excited uh, to present to you not only on who we are, but what, where we're planning on going to in the future. And for those of you who aren't aware, a lot of what we do, we're a fully escorted group guided travel operator, meaning that you're traveling with a Colette tour manager uh, throughout the duration of your trip. Someone who welcomes you into the destination at the airport or the very first hotel um, and is traveling with you every single day. They're more than just a guide. They're really a confidant in all things on tour. Um, they are uh, your translator, you're um, obviously articulating the cultural and historical significance of the sites. And I always ask people whenever they get back from the trip, you know, what did you think of the Grand Canyon? What did you think of Lake Powell, et cetera? And they're saying, well, Colby, that was great. We knew it was going to be great. Um, but the, the biggest thing was uh, David or Yvonne, the tour manager, they're the people that really set the tour apart from any other uh, vacation we've ever been on because we've learned so much about the destination. Um, also, something that we started in 2019 and are continuing to pursue is our social responsibility vision and trying to create a more sustainable way of travel so that people like my three-year-old and two-month-old now at this time will be able to um, 
be able to go and travel and see these destinations that we're all taking advantage of right now. So we're gonna be going through uh, a handful of different tours, I think six or so that we have slated for 2021 and 2022. And as a reminder, these tours um, can be uh, picked out of most major US gateways. So if you're coming from California, from New York, um, from Alabama or Chicago, we'll be able to accommodate you on all of these things. The very first tour that I wanted to discuss was our Colorado Rockies trip. This is a nine day tour that takes place from September 17th to September 25th, 2021. And if you see this little arrow icon, that's something that Colette has really spearheaded with the idea of doing choice on tour. That means that you have options that are built into the inclusions of the tour, so you don't pay additional for them of what you'd like to do that day. It naturally separates the group based on like-minded travelers, and it gives you charge of your own experience. So you're not in that mindset of being locked into an itinerary. This is our tour uh, itinerary at a glance. So you'll notice here that we fly into Denver and we also fly out of Denver, but we spend two nights here making our way to the western part of the state in Grand Junction, getting out to Arches, Dead Horse, Canyonlands National Park. Um, taking a, uh, an old cog trail uh, train from Silverton to Durango and then ending the tour in Colorado Springs. So as we arrive into beautiful Denver, for those of you who have never been there before, it's an amazing place. We're in the front range, you see in the distance here of the photos, spectacular, and then you have the front range plane. So literally as you arrive in, you look out the left window from the plane and it's flat as can be, and you look out the right and there are snow peaked uh, 14,000 foot mountains in the distance. On day one, uh, the tour opens up, of course, in Denver, which is a perfect blend of urban energy, mountain horizons, and is also Colorado's capture uh, capital that will capture your heart. On day two, we travel through Boulder, a scenic university town famous for its iconic landmark, the striking reddish brown foothills known as the Flatirons. And of course, these flat irons are actually made of sandstone. The mountain slabs have become a symbol of Boulder. But we'll continue on to Estes Park and the Stanley Hotel. We stop here to visit. Um, this hotel is actually a historic hotel um, that actually inspired Stephen King's The Shining. Um, overlooking Lake Estes, the quaint town is actually set along the foothills of the Rockies. And as we continue on this picturesque tour, at the Rainbow Curve, you'll actually marvel at the majestic mountains that stand in contrast to deep, rugged canyons. Located on the Trail Ridge Road, the Rainbow Curve is actually a scenic overlook on the horseshoe part of the trail. We'll take in a plethora of colors, the verdant greens of the valley and the dark forest pines, snow-capped mountaintops off in the distance. But as we get deeper into this, we visit Colorado National Monument, eventually getting out to Canyonlands National Park, which of course is at the gateway of Arches National Park. I love presenting on this tour because this is part of the world where our family lived when I was young. I was actually born in Nevada. We would always make a point to visit uh, Arches National Park. It is uh, the world's largest concentration of natural sandstone arches and home to over 2,000. These iconic arches are the result of that continuous erosion, slightly acidic rain and dense quantities of salt underneath the ground. And it's com uh, covering an area over 73,000 acres. But moving forward, we visit the quaint town of Silverton where we stop for lunch before we board um, the Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad. This railroad was actually used uh, years past during the silver mining rush. But we hop on here and we traverse through the Animus River uh, Gorge on our way to Durango, Colorado. And as we get out to Durango, that's when Choice on Tour begins, where we visit either the Mesa Verde panoramic tour or the cliff dwelling adventure and hike. And again, these are included in your tour. You don't have to pay anything additional for this. Um, you simply choose what you'd like to do either before or day of, and you can even swip swap whatever uh, tour that you want. It's something that um, we leave open to any individual that they like. So with the Mesa Verde uh, panoramic tour, uh, you join a local guide on a panoramic drive through the park, making several photo stops, including views of the famous Spruce Treehouse, one of Mesa Verde's best preserved cliff dwellings in the Cliff Palace, the largest in the park. And then on the cliff dwelling tour, 
If you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, you join the National Park Ranger on a short hike down the canyon into the cliff dwellings. As you walk, soak in these views of the valley along some of the 600 homes carved along the cliffs. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And then we make our way uh, later on this evening, we experience a farm to table dinner on the family owned ranch surrounded by the red mountain peaks and lush green pastures. A lot of these photos uh, that I'm showing you are actually taking um, during the fall, October into November. So you have a beautiful array of aspen trees during the foliage season, getting down into a golden color and how it contrasts so well with the evergreens. But continuing on into Colorado Springs, one of my favorite stops on tour is hopping on the Royal Gorge Route Railroad. It's a glass dome scen uh, scenic rail ride going along the Arkansas River and through what is called a box canyon. They call it a box canyon because you have vertical walls on either side of the river. It's a class five section of whitewater and you'll be able to see numerous amounts of whitewater uh, river tours operating uh, through some of the most exhilarating whitewater uh, that we have here in the United States but we travel to the Garden of the Gods and we take in the view of towering sandstone formations that dot the landscape and set against the backdrop of uh, Majestic's Pikes Peak. So I can't encourage you enough, please join us in Colorado this September. It is going to create memories that last a lifetime and we're really excited to have you. Now next, this tour is actually our most booked tour to date in 2021, the National Parks of America. It's 12 days with 16 meals that are included. We're going out from September 28th to October 9th, 2021. With airfare, this tour is starting out at $4,298 per person uh, from, like I mentioned before, from most gateways here in the US. Now, if you're looking at the itinerary, it's a very inclusive tour as we start from Phoenix, Arizona, and then we end in Rapid City, South Dakota. We actually have many people that will continue on uh, through an extension of this tour to Denver, Colorado to see some of the Colorado State Parks as well. But opening up in Sedona, it's a beautiful area that has really inspired a lot of artisans, um, both native and um, new um, members of this area from the pioneer days, and many people relocate here, obviously because of the natural beauty. As we migrate our way up to the Grand Canyon, being able to stay right in the park is something that we really highlight for a lot of people. Our lodge is located directly at the Northern Rim. On some destinations, we migrate down to the South Rim, but the best part about your stay in uh, the Grand Canyon is being able to sit back out on the patio of your hotel overlooking the Colorado River and wave goodbye to the other tourists as you're sipping a glass of wine. Then we continue on to the beautiful Lake Powell. On this tour, we actually have an option of doing a breakfast cruise out on the lake, continuing on on a canyon cruise or going out to Death Valley. My favorite national park here in the backyard of, of the United States has got to be Zion. Over 200, uh, excuse me, 2,500 feet deep at its deepest point, over a mile and a half wide, beautiful Zion Canyon is host to so many different types of bird life from peregrine falcons, golden eagles. Um, it really creates a great opportunity to go out um, and being able uh, to do some excellent bird watching. The golden eagles, if you've never seen one, they have a wingspan of over seven feet wide. Um, you'll see the shadow of the golden eagle fly by and you think that an airplane is going overhead and then the tour manager will point out that it is in fact a golden eagle. Um, make sure that you pack a camera. You don't want to be caught with just walking around with your smartphone um, or smart device, I should say. It's always a great opportunity for wildlife uh, viewing to be able to capture it on a camera. Bryce uh, Canyon National Park, pictured here. Um, world famous for its hoodoo structures. That's that sandstone formation that you see, almost like a spiring tower. Some of the largest com uh, collection of these hoodoos in the world. Um, so as you're touring these national parks, it's a great way to do it with a local guide. So you get to learn about the geology, the geography, and not only that, but the gastronomy of the destination that you're in. We stop briefly in Salt Lake City before we carry on um, to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Pictured here, the antler arch that are all over uh, Jackson Hole, created by the Boy Scouts of America, and they actually auction off these as a fundraiser later on in the year. 
we're getting into that cowboy pioneer uh, region of uh, the Northern National Parks. And we put that into full view when we make our way to a barbecue escorted from chuck wagons. Uh, all the cowboys hop off the chuck wagons as we uh, eat our meal. And then they actually perform uh, music for us. Uh, everybody kind of gets up and starts dancing. Um, and it makes it for a really fun time. And again, really emphasizing that cowboy theme before we get out and view the Grand Tetons. One of the newest national parks, also some of the newest formed mountains um, that we have here out of the National Parks Collection, reaching over 12,000 feet. Evidence shows that actually humans have been occupying this region for over 11,000 years, starting with nomadic hunters scouring the valleys for food. After the Tetons, we migrate further north to Yellowstone, um, being able to see what we have here is the Columbia Falls. And we have our tour managers here, and we also have the park rangers that are also articulating, again, the geology and geography of the region. And it's amazing how particular they can be when navigating the wildlife in the area. But no trip to Yellowstone is complete until we see Old Faithful. Uh, this geyser shoots more than 100 feet, 130 feet, excuse me, in the air, over 3,700 to 8,400 gallons of boiling water lasting up to five minutes. Um, actually, in the late 1800s, visitors would throw their handkerchiefs into the park's geysers and letting the living fabric steam before having them injected into the air um, when the geyser erupted. However, this is shown to harm the geyser, so they prevented people from doing that really since the turn of the, um, turn of the 19th century. Then making our way through Cody, Wyoming, uh, visiting uh, Wild Bill, Calamity Jane's um, uh, resting place, getting into uh, South Dakota where we see Crazy Horse uh, Memorial as well as Mount Rushmore. For those of you, um, which I assume most of you on the call are, uh, are part of this category, um, each evening, um, the uh, Mount Rushmore Memorial M Museum will have a lighting ceremony that takes place. And that's in dedication to um, veterans, active members of the military. Uh, they play the national anthem and the lighting ceremony is dedicated to, again, veterans and active members of the military, POWs, et cetera. Um, so it's a great way um, that this uh, monument really celebrates um, our active members of the military and veterans of war. And then, Later on, the tour ends with a farewell dinner where we actually get to meet a local Lakota Native American who talks about um, the tribe, the Sioux Nation people in this area, how they've gone from uh, traditional indigenous life to uh, the modern way of living. But like I said before, I'm very excited to have you join us in America's National Parks, our number one most booked tour out of the 160 plus tours that we have out of Colette's portfolio. So let's jump to the other side of the United States for our Islands of New England tour. This uh, tour goes out October 1st of 2021 to October 8th, so a little bit shorter, starting uh, at 2798 out of most U.S. gateways. Um, just to give you an idea, again, of the tour itinerary, you'll notice that we use just two hotels on this tour. So a very leisurely pace, and from there, we do what's called a wheel and spoke style of touring from. Um, so we fly into Providence, Rhode Island, and out of Boston, Massachusetts, making our way um, out to Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, um, Provincetown, um, Cape Cod, Newport, Block Island. Again, getting into some of the best food that the Northeast uh, United States has to offer. Making our way out into Newport, being able to visit some of the Renaissance era mansions here, but common attractions include the Newport Bridge, Cliff Walk, downtown area with abundance of yachts. As I mentioned before, the delicious restaurants and shops. If you like shellfish, lobster, oysters, this is the place for you. Um, right on the wharf, it's actually a beautiful place to catch the sunset as it looks west um, and uh, kick back with a nice glass of wine. Here we have Ocean Drive in Newport along some of the most picturesque homes, but later on we get out into the Cliff Walk where we're able to have choice on tour again, uh, either going to the Marble House for an in-depth tour or the Rosecliff Mansion. And both of these homes um, were summer homes for you know, the Rockefellers, the Vanderbilts, et cetera. And we tour them. It's really interesting to learn about the historical significance of how they designed these homes with specific purpose. <clears throat> uh, 
being able to go out to Block Island, a mostly pedestrian island off the coast of Rhode Island. It's kind of like Rhode Island's hidden gem. Even many Rhode Islanders have never actually been to Block Island. When you imagine that, it's such a cute, quaint little location. Um, and again, very pedestrian friendly. We get out and we're actually able to have uh, ample free time to explore the downtown shops, relax, have a great bite to eat um, before we make our way back. And then we get to delve into the rural life as your tour of New England cranberry bog begins. Really in Eastern Massachusetts, actually home to over 14,000 acres of cranberry bogs, but they flourish in the wetlands where the low vines can actually find adequate soil and water. We get a tour of the bog and we actually get to participate in some of the harvesting as well. But we do eventually uh, arrive into our beachfront hotel for a four night stay at the Seacrest Beach Hotel. And then making our way out uh, strategically um, to Martha's Vineyard. Known for its visits by presidents and royalty, this is a summer home as well of many artists, writers, celebrity, and full surprises. The Vineyard has ho uh, hosted former US President Barack Obama, Bill Murray, Adam Sandler, David Letterman, James Taylor, um, and many more. So the diversity of this island is incredible. And you can see why well, while you're there, um, it is such a great place to visit um, any time of the year. Then we travel out onto the tip of Cape Cod to Provincetown. Um, the town's nickname is also known as P-Town. So as you uh, reference that, some people may be kind of confused with where Provincetown is. And you may say, well, we actually visited P-Town. And they'll go, oh yeah, I gotcha. Um, I can't encourage you enough while you're there. The seafood is abundant all year long. You always wanna try a lobster roll to compare and contrast where the best lobster roll is. So please do that while you're there. Our choice on tour here is very remarkable. We have a whale watching cruise and a sand dune adventure. And again, you get to choose what you'd like to do that day. Obviously on the whale watch cruise, we're going out in search of the whales and the sand dune adventure is learning about really all the protected sand dunes that are on Cape Cod, the ecosystem that it is built and the wildlife that lives there. And there it is really the best way to cap off the end of a New England tour sitting down for a beautiful farewell dinner and chef-led demonstration highlighting the local specialty of lobster. So again, please join us in New England um, this coming fall. Now another tour at the end of the year, we always have different styles of touring. Whenever we have a spotlight series of tours, uh, we call it a spotlight on New York City. Um, it is a single hotel throughout the duration of your trip. And we're going out from December 6th to December 10th, 2021. It's a five day tour with five meals that are included, starting out at $28.98, $2,898 out of most US gateways. Um, but when you have a single hotel stay, as you notice, we just have one dot indicating four nights, five days in the heart of New York City. Um, it makes it for a very leisurely paced tour. You unpack your bag once, and then at the end of the tour, you pack your bag. Um, so if you're used to cruising and you've never been on a land tour before, I can't, uh, I cannot uh, encourage you enough to try the spotlight tour. As I always mention, it's kind of like a land cruise. You get to the ship once and you do your little port visits uh, throughout, except you're in the heart of New York City. <clears throat> Excuse me. So from here, uh, we set out to really embrace the energy of the Big Apple with a locally guided tour of New York. Um, we get to see Lower Manhattan, St. Paul's Chapel, where George Washington actually used to worship. There's also uh, the site where the recovery workers were cared for during the time of the World Trade Center um, attacks. Um, so you're getting so much history with New York um, from uh, the early revolutionary times to current day, um, as we are so well aware of. Being able to get out uh, to Rockefeller Center, being able to see uh, the tree uh, all lit up for um, obviously the holidays, um, world famous renowned. Usually they pluck it from somewhere in the greater tri state area. I think last year it was out of Florida, New York. Um, people literally, these are wild trees that grow on people's property. Um, they commission them, people submit entries, and you get to learn about all of that as well and about the thousands of lights that they hang on these trees every year. What's great about this tour, however, is that not one, but two shows you get to actually go and view. No trip to the city during the holidays is complete without visiting Radio City Music Hall and seeing the Rockettes Christmas performance. Um, it is a beautiful spectacle of light, dance, history, 
Um, and we get to sit down after dinner and be able to go out to Radio City and see the Christmas Spectacular. Now the very next day, um, we uh, go out on a New York City Harbor cruise where we see the Statue of Liberty. We actually dock there, which gives us an ample opportunity to, for some great photos. And whenever you go out to New York City Harbor, you get those viewpoints and vantage points of New York City from the water. Also a great photo opportunity. Going on to Ellis Island, um, and what's really near and dear to my heart is uh, visiting the 9-11 Memorial and taking a self-guided tour of the 9-11 Museum. It's a uh, poignant tribute to the lives um, lost uh, when the Twin Towers fell. But this Twin Memorial Pools, for those of you who haven't actually visited there, are surrounded by bronze structures which are engraved with the names of the people that passed um, that fateful day. But as I mentioned before, we go out um, to a Broadway show. Since the Broadway shows are uh, ever changing, um, at this point, we don't know which show that we're going to be seeing, but some of them in, from the past have included Fan of the, of the Opera, Jersey Boys, Kinky Boots, Chicago, um, and the beautiful uh, The Carol King Musical. Um, but again, two shows are included in this tour. And again, it is a single hotel stay throughout the duration of the trip. So I can't encourage you enough to join us in uh, New York City, the city that never sleeps. So let's get down to another part of North America that is always debated, North, Central, East, West, what's going on here, um, to tropical Costa Rica. It is a nine day tour with 13 meals included, also has choice on tour November 3rd of 2021 to November 11th, 2021. This tour is $1,898 out of most US gateways. Again, this tour is $1,898 out of most gateways, nine days um, in Costa Rica. And I don't know about you, but where I am, it's quite cool in November, generally pretty gray. Uh, I am welcome to seeing some of the beautiful weather that we have in Costa Rica. Um, just to give you an idea again, we fly into San Jose, spend a night, and then our last night we spend in San Jose and we fly out. We make our way out to the Pacific coast in Guanacaste, visiting Samara, world renowned for its sunset views course facing west, perfect opportunity for that. Going out to the Monte Verde Cloud Forest, um, then staying two nights at the Arenal uh, Volcano Resort. Going up to Cano Negro where we do uh, a, um, a river cruise for wildlife viewing. Touching base in uh, Zixero and then ending in uh, San Jose. We have to visit a coffee plantation while we're in Costa Rica. It is a, really an opportunity to learn about the history and cultivation of this product for the driver of the Costa Rican economy. Um, so we actually get to see what coffee is like from the leaf to the cup, try it, savor it, really learn about the benefits of cost, coffee. Um, and then from there, we make our way out to beautiful Guanacaste. Uh, it looks like something out of a movie, right? It is truly immaculate. While we're here, um, we stay at a hotel that is right on the beach, infinity pool looking out over the Pacific coast, uh, a full day at leisure. There are a few options that we can organize for you, of course. Otherwise, kick back, relax, grab that fruity cocktail and enjoy the sunset. Um, kick back in the pool, enjoy some of the amenities of the gym and restaurants inside the hotel or go down to the beach and really um, uh, have the time of your life. We also have, as we get into the, uh, excuse me, the Monte Verde Cloud Forest, we have choice on, on tour again. Um, being able to do the butterfly and hanging bridges walking tour or a zip line canopy tour um, of the rainforest. Now, you have one of these included on your tour. A lot of people ask me, Colby, can I go back and do the zip line tour after the hanging bridges? The answer is yes. It's around a $75 charge to be able to go and do both, but we have ample opportunity and time to go and do both of these if you choose. Um, again, both of these are guided. Uh, obviously, a uh, different experience through the canopy. If you're looking to get great sh uh, shots of the Quetzal bird or learn about the different hum hummingbirds, um, I would definitely suggest the Hanging Bridges tour. If you're looking for something exhilarating during the middle of your tour, obviously go for the Zipline Canopy tour. And as we traverse deeper into the Monte Verde Cloud Forest on the way to Arenal Volcano, um, arriving into Arenal after a cruise of Arenal Lake, the largest lake in Costa Rica, where you get great vantage points for photography of the Arenal Volcano. It's that 
it's that typical volcano, right? Back in elementary school, right before the science fair, you put the paper mache together, you do the baking powder and vinegar, um, you build that cone volcano. And this is your view um, from the volcano, uh, Arenal Volcano Resort. It is a spa resort that we use. What you have here pictured are the pools and it, the, the hotel is actually shaped in a horseshoe formation so that all the rooms actually have volcano views and there's actually the bathrooms are half indoor, half outdoor uh, grotto. So everybody has a private grotto bathroom. And again, no better way to explore the rainforest um, when you're taking a shower at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day um, in a grotto bathroom overlooking the volcano. If you'd like to get a spa treatment here, you can. If you'd like to go on the nature walk down to the waterfall and swim, you can. It is a great opportunity to kick back, relax, enjoy some of the great food and amenities of this hotel overlooking the Arenal Volcano. Of course, this tour is also heavily engulfed in natural wildlife. We have the white-faced monkey here, howler monkey sloths. Um, going out to Cano Negro, we go out on a, uh, a cruise um, out on the Cano Negro uh, River and have an opportunity to be able to visit um, some of the areas out there and see more wildlife. So again, I can't encourage you enough Think about the weather in your uh, location in November. Generally for me, it means clouds, rain, entering that cold time. So again, I want you to kind of look at this image and picture yourself in Costa Rica come November. Um, so moving on to our next tour and our last tour presentation of Alaska uh, Discovery land and cruise. We partner with Princess uh, on this uh, particular tour. I was talking to John about this actually earlier and their benefit to both active and veterans of the military, which we do honor. Um, but this is a 12 day, 25 meal included tour from July 19th of 2022 to July 30th. Um, so if you haven't been to Alaska yet and you're looking to do it in a leisurely way, I can't encourage you enough to do it uh, with Colette because it is not only a cruise, but we incorporate uh, the land portion of the tour flying into Fairbanks and out of Vancouver. Um, we spent three nights at the Denali National Park, taking a uh, glass dome train to Talkeetna, um, making our way to Anchorage and Whittier, where we board our seven night cruise all the way down to Vancouver, where we fly back home. On day one, our tour opens up in Fairbanks, the largest city in the interior region of Alaska. It was actually founded as a temporary trading post in the 19, in 1900, um, converted into a permanent one after their gold was discovered in the area. And the city is fondly known as Fairbanks, Alaska's golden heart. On our very first full day this morning, we step aboard this amazing cruise in the popular Sternwheeler Discovery, a historic steamboat. Tradition dates back to the late 1800s and cruise along the river, taking in the majestic scenery along the way, making stops along the way to absorb the culture um, of the area as you meet its people. So it's a way to really immerse yourself into this uh, culturally intimate location and uh, really getting to know the interior of Alaska versus just the coast. After we arrive at our hotel, the Denali Princess Wilderness Lodge, enjoy the beautiful rustic hotel with uh, Mount McKinney or Denali in the backdrop. Some of the amenities that we have here, it is in the thralls of the natural environment, um, built from local timbers found within the park, really inspired by the famous mining pioneer, Fanny Q. Quigley. But just like our Colorado um, National Park Store, Alaska is all about the wilderness and the wildlife. Some of the wildlife that you see other than the elk here is the brown bear, the moose, the caribou, the wolves, the doll sheep. So again, don't make the mistake of traveling to Alaska without your camera. Because um, another photo opportunity is being able to go out onto our train ride here. After breakfast at our hotel, we begin the scenic train ride to Talkeetna, uh, um, where the population is less than a thousand people. The village is actually beloved for its natural beauty and quirky personality. Um, and this train is also a glass dome ceiling. Um, so again, fully narrated by a guide in the middle here. Um, so you get to learn so much about the variety um, of the wilderness that you traverse through while on the train. And then we board our Princess cruise ship full with amenities from casinos to restaurants, et cetera. But really another reason 
to go on this tour is to be able to go out and see uh, not only Hubbard Glacier, but also Glacier Bay. As you can see here, ample opportunity out on the viewing decks of the cruise ship um, to see these different glaciers. And actually the ice at the front of the glacier is anywhere between 75 to 200 years old. So the ice that you see breaking off while you cruise could be the snow that fell in the mountains in the 1700s. And it's just like little factoids like that that really put um, a lot of things into perspective uh, while you're traveling through this rugged terrain. But then making our way into some of these historic towns um, on our cruise from Skagway, uh, this little town has actually changed dramatically when gold was found in the Klondike region in 1896. But by the turn of the century, the population was estimated to be between 8,000 and uh, 10,000. But today's year round residents number just over 1,000. Going out to Juneau, where you see the, again the dramatic landscape, visiting Ketchikan. This uh, historic Creek Street is one of the most popular spots to visit. Um, you can actually traverse Creek Street on these elevated uh, platforms going into quaint shops um, and restaurants, et cetera. Your tour guide will actually tell you about the colorful background of Creek Street um, while you're on tour here. And then entering the Inside Passage, a wonderful day of sightseeing waits as the ship sails through this area. It's a stretch of land that was actually carved by glaciers millions of years ago, but the route actually extends from southeastern Alaska through western British Columbia into northern Washington state. It is known for, again, its natural beauty, diverse wildlife, will search for sea lions, bald eagles, porpoises, and of course whales before arriving into beautiful scenic Vancouver. The cruise ends this morning in the uh, Canadian city of Vancouver, leaving you with many wonderful memories um, of your tour to last for the great frontiers. But again, if you haven't been to Alaska yet, I please encourage you um, to join us in Alaska come July 2022. And again, for those of you who aren't aware, you can also personalize any of your Colette tours by upgrading your airfare, um, we have plentiful dining experiences to upgrade to optional excursions. If you want to go somewhere earlier, you can do so. Um, I actually got an email from a passenger asking if they could fly in early to the national parks and being able to stay an additional night uh, in Scottsdale. And you obviously, of course, can. And we get you group rates at that hotel that we use there. Post nights are the same thing. Tour extensions, we have plentiful tour extensions. I believe for the National Parks Tour, I mentioned we have an extension to Denver to visit many of the national, uh, excuse me, state parks in Colorado. Um, so always talk to your travel agent at MOA Vacations about this. Any desires you may have, don't withhold any of those and try to, like I said, plan on your own. Um, that's the reason travel agents are out there so that they take that headache away from you. For those of you who have traveled with Colette Tours, you know about our Passport Club, which is our loyalty program. We wouldn't be in business um, for now 103 tour seasons through the global pandemic um, without our loyal travelers. We've grandfathered everybody in from travel in 2019. So if you travel with us in 2021 and you're in within that two year window, you'll get $150 off per person in addition to your MOA member benefits. Um, if you travel with us in 2018, you'll get $100 off per person. Um, so we've added an additional year to this benefit. Um, so please inquire. And those, those loyalty program um, dollars are automatically deducted from your final payment because um, we collected information from your state issued ID or, you know, for example, if we're going international like Alaska and Canada, then it'll become from your passport info. Um, but the biggest thing, um, we're going to open it up for Q&A here in just a little bit. The biggest thing to remember is to call MOA Vacations, email MOA Vacations for any questions that you may have, desires to book. Uh, John mentioned it earlier on the presentation that if these do, uh, dates don't line up for you well, um, we have uh, literally, um, I don't wanna say hundreds of departures of the same tour every month, but we have at least over 15 different departures of the same tour every single month. And we really want to accommodate any scheduling needs that you may have in order to get you on a trip of a lifetime. Um, so I want to uh, end before the Q&A by again saying thank you to everybody on the call. And what I'd like to do now is just to go ahead and open it up for questions. Um, for those of you who are on the call, just a reminder, you're going to want to type in your questions in the chat box. We open it up for verbal questions 
Um, you know, we have over uh, 70 people on the call right now, so it can get kind of chaotic. So what I'd like to do is just have you click on the chat function at the lower center of your screen. Um, has a small word cloud about above it, and you can type in whatever your question may be. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up for questions right now. Um, let's see. Um, we had a question about a river cruise. Um, looks like John already addressed it in the chat. He says, yeah, please uh, call either myself or Mike after the presentation ends. And then again, the phone number 800-211-5107. John also put the link into the tours page of MOA Vacations. So brenco.com slash MOA Vacations slash tours backslash um, for more details. Yeah. Kobe, real quick before we get into, uh, while, while people are thinking up those questions, uh, thanks for reminding everybody about the alternative dates. Uh, I did want to uh, make sure everybody know, I know we had a number of people that came in after we got started. Uh, so we are going to process this video down or upload it rather to the internet. And tomorrow we're going to send everybody a link to the presentation. So if you miss the first 10 or 20 minutes, you can review that portion uh, of the presentation and see what you missed. Uh, and then before I do see we have some questions coming in uh, right now, before we answer the first question, I did want to say something real quick about the COVID protocols. Um, we've done a number of these webinars over the last few months, uh, and I always want to address this uh, before we get started. Uh, always like to say that our number one priority uh, is the safety of MOA members. So everything we do is predicated on that. Um, I think everybody's seen the news. Things are starting to move really quickly. It's a kind of fluid situation. So we can kind of uh, address what the COVID protocols are right now, uh, as long as we all realize as we look to the end of this year and next year, uh, what everyone is anticipating is eventually we won't even uh, be talking about pro COVID protocols anymore as everything goes back to normal. Uh, but right now with Colette, um, if you're going to go on one of their tours, you either need to have a negative COVID test within the last 72 hours. Uh, if you tested positive for COVID uh, in the last 90 days, uh, or if you're fully vaccinated. And that's pretty much standard uh, what all the travel companies are looking for right now. And that's all based upon the CDC's guidelines. Um, that's kind of where we are right now, just in case anybody had any questions about that. Um, but as I said, we're talking about tours uh, this fall, we're talking about tours next year, and hopefully by then everything's back to normal. So uh, let's jump into the questions. Do you have one, uh, Colby, you want to start with? or? Yeah, um, one of the first questions is, will this presentation be available viewing online? Oh, so yes. Um, it takes actually a little while. Uh, we have to wait till the webinar is over, and then it's actually processed. Uh, and then once it's processed, and, and it's a process that Zoom does, so that's going to take a couple of hours. Uh, and then it takes actually another, a little over another an hour, because we actually upload a high definition version of it. Um, so it's possible to get out late tonight, but what we like to tell people is tomorrow morning, we will email everyone uh, a copy of this presentation. Um, so the people who showed up for the webinar, in fact, as we said in the invitation, everyone um, who even signed up for the webinar will get a copy of it. I saw someone ask a question about the price on the Alaska vacation. Uh, if you click on that link up above, uh, you will see the link tours page. And if you scroll down to 2022, uh, and then since uh, you'll, you'll see the Alaska one, it shows the pricing. Um, the difference on the Alaska cruise from uh, any of the other tours is the fact that you have a choice of stateroom. Um, so you'll see there, there's a price for a inside room, an outside or an ocean view, or a balcony room, and the price varies based upon the accommodations that you'd like. Um, and then if you have a specific question as what the cabin availability you know, a lot of times people are specific in what exact category they want or location of the stateroom uh, and everything else. That's that's a give us a call or drop us an email uh, type of uh, issue. Uh, just let us know and we'll get back with you uh, with exactly what's available that you're looking for. So I think that answers that. We, uh, uh, what is the cost of Costa Rica, the Costa Rica trip if traveling solo? 
Uh, once again, um, the pricing for both uh, single, double, and if applicable, triple occupancy, uh, refer you back up to that link up above. Um, go to that page, uh, the tours page, and then you scroll down. And as I said at the beginning, and I'll mention again, the tours are in chronological order. Uh, so you'll just go down until you find Costa Rica. Uh, you click on that. It does show the pricing based upon accommodations. Um, and so you can go in and see that. And then there is actually on that page uh, a little button you can click if you want to uh, request a quote or request more information. So um, what else do we have here? Uh, so question is, and I know this, do you do, you do tours on the American rivers? Um, so Colette does not, but I know that Moa Vacation does a number of uh, other vendors that do operate on American rivers. But yeah, and, if, and, and, and I'll just expand upon that. We actually have, this year we have the Mississippi River. Um, let us know, we actually did a webinar on that way back in March. I was actually on the ship, the American Countess. Uh, they'd actually started sailing the Mississippi, well, they started sailing a number of rivers back in March. Um, and so they've been sailing for a few months now. And then next year we're doing the Columbian Snake River uh, as MOA groups. But um, those won't be on the tour page. They're not tours. Uh, but once again, call us, drop us an email, and we can send you uh, a link to that webinar. We actually have a MOA Vacations YouTube page now, uh, which I actually uh, I didn't know how to set up. But uh, we have some younger folks here on staff. So there's actually a MOA Vacations YouTube page that has all of the webinar videos that we're doing. Um, I see somebody asked about provisions for solo travelers. I'm not really sure what you mean about provisions. Um, there is a single traveler rate on all of the tours we discussed today. Um, so once again, you go to that tours page, uh, you click on any of the tours. I think there's 17 different tours listed, uh, of which seven are North America, uh, which we covered six of them today. Uh, but on any of those you click on, they will actually show you what the rate is for single occupancy. So I, I'm not sure if that's what the question meant by provisions for solo travelers. Um, yeah, if there's a, well. any, any questions about, you know, the meals and everything like that, whether you're a solo, whether you are a, a double occupancy, meaning two people in a room, even on some tours, we offer triple occupancy. For tours here in the United States, Alaska, um, I would definitely say go for it because um, the hotel size, the rooms are, are large enough to have the capacity for triple. You generally price point with triple rooms, they'll save you anywhere from 30 to $50. So, you know, as we do our European uh, presentation on Thursday, I wouldn't suggest doing triple occupancy for a discount of $50 in Europe. If you've ever been there before, uh, a double room is, uh, you know, especially a, a full size bed, two, two uh, of them in one room. And the, the room sizes are a little bit smaller than what we're used to here. Um, but all the meals that are included on the tour uh, will be made available for all participants, whether you're double or single or triple. Um, and the tour uh, price uh, that John has listed on his website as well, which is really comprehensive. Um, is uh, has it slated for both double, single, and triple if the tour allows. Um, and that includes uh, all the meals available on tour, the hotels, the sightseeing, the entry fees, the park um, permits, et cetera. Yeah, and, and while we're talking on it, because I, I, I wanted to at some point mention airfare, uh, when you go to that tours page, those are air-inclusive prices. Uh, we do have a number of tours that uh, we have uh, an air special on, and we'll mention, you know, like $299, uh, where it's from most U.S. gateways. Uh, and then on some of the other tours, um, you'll see that they might have some additional discount. Uh, any of those additional discounts listed uh, are going to be in addition, are, are going to be, yeah, in addition to the past passenger discounts or, or the MOA special offers. Um, so those are inclusive, but when you click on those, uh, some of them are from specific gateways, particularly when you look at some of the 2022 Europe departures, where we'll actually say what that gateway is. Um, even with, you know, um, the air specials where it's most major U.S. gateways, um, Colby mentioned it before, we're here to do pre's, post, we can help you with your air. 
so if, um, you know, if you're looking to go out of uh, what would be considered a smaller gateway, we can certainly handle that air request for you as well. Um, and then Colby, did you want to talk real quick about the door-to-door -door service? Um, it's one of the things that I think is the greatest thing uh, that Colette offers uh, that I always uh, talk about when I'm at the tours uh, of the of the door-to-door -door service real quick, and then we could end on that as we have a couple minutes left. Yeah, so the the door-to-door -door sedan service is something that's really great. Whenever you're purchasing the tour with the airfare, um, we include not only just the, the air, it's really a fully uh, inclusive uh, transportation package where if you live within 50 miles of your gateway, we'll come and pick you up at your home. Um, so it's a great advantage uh, that we have. The tour really begins and ends at your doorstep. Um, so we'll send, you know, typically it's like a Lincoln Town Car or something. If you use a transportation service to get to and from the airport in the past, uh, very similar. But literally, uh, you don't have to pay for parking. You don't have to drive to the airport. You don't have to sit in traffic. And if the tour is far away from where you live, you don't have to deal with jet lag and, and that transportation back home, um, which I think is a huge advantage. Yeah, I always talk about you don't have to uh, call up a friend and bother them to give you a, a ride to the airport or worry about where you're going to park your car, all that other stuff. To me, it's just one of the unique things they do that I just love, that you're on vacation, they pick you up your door, they take you to the airport, and then when your, your, your trip's over, they bring you home as well. So that's just a nice benefit. Um, we are almost out of our three hours, and we like to be somewhat punctual, but I see one final question. It says, does all your party have to be a MOA member? Um, absolutely not. Uh, as I said before, and we like to, to reiterate time and time again, is um, we are here to provide service to MOA members. So if a MOA member is going, you can bring along as many friends or family members or co-workers or neighbors or whatever it is uh, along with you. Even on MOA groups, even the signatures that we have, um, if you want to go, you can bring along as many people in as many rooms as you want. Um, it is important that the MOA member go, so that is the one prerequisite we have, but all of the discounts, all of the amenities, the air specials, everything that we offer um, goes to you and anyone traveling with you. So um, that's, that's a great question. Um, so yeah, if you have uh, friends and family, I know a lot of people like to travel in small groups um, when they go or, you know, a multi-generational travel, what used to be a buzzword starting about a couple of years ago before COVID, where you know grandparents, kids, and grandkids would all travel together. So all of those are options. So um, with that being said, uh, I'm going to echo what Colby said a few minutes ago. We really appreciate you taking time um, to join us today. We do have Colby back on Thursday uh, to talk uh, again. This time uh, it's going to be on Europe instead of North America. Um, you'll see those groups when you go page because all the tours are on one site regardless of the destination so if any of those european tours uh look interesting to you we'd love to have you come back on thursday um and you know what really in conclusion i'll say kobe was talking about the past ben passenger benefit um you certainly could go on in north america this year and europe next year and when you go on your europe text trip next year as soon as you complete uh your trip this year you'll get that additional dollars off automatically added uh, to your next booking if you haven't traveled with Cole before. So I um, hope to see everybody again soon. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful week. All right. Thanks again from everybody at Colette Vacations. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.